And that'll be it for the day in sport, Bruce. Lovely, Amy. Thank you very much for that. Time for Where Are with Christina Prentoska. And it will be a little warmer tomorrow, Christina. Bruce, it will inch towards the mid-20s tomorrow. I'll have all the details after the break. Welcome back. It was a brisk one today. Both overnight and daytime temperatures were between 3 and 10 degrees below the February average. Tonight's weather photo is from Noel. He captured this beautiful sky with orange and yellow blends and there's some eagles in the tree as well. Great shot, Noel. Thank you. If you have a weather photo and you'd like to see it on screen, send it through to us. The address is weather at wintv.com.au. Let's look at the details from today. A few clouds and winds were gusty at times. Castlemaine dropped to six degrees just before sunrise. That's around five degrees colder than the same time yesterday. Winds picked up in Bendigo during the afternoon, gusting to 44 kilometres an hour. 21 was the top there. Plenty of sunshine for Hopeton, but the apparent temperature was a little fresher than what the mercury showed. And Swan Hill copped wind gusts of almost 50 kilometres per hour. On the satellite, a high in the west is extending a ridge across southern Victoria as it moves slowly east. On the synoptic, tomorrow another high will develop over the southern Tasman Sea, extending another ridge back west towards Bass Strait. To the forecast for central Victoria, partly cloudy with moderate south to south easterly winds. Bendigo will reach a top of 23 degrees. Swan Hill, 25, the top there. For Bendigo tomorrow, cool to start, dipping to 9 degrees, then partly cloudy and heading for a top of 23. And in Melbourne, looking pretty similar, it'll reach a top of 20 degrees there. And in the days ahead, Thursday will be sunny with light winds. Friday is looking mostly sunny and warm. And on Saturday, a few clouds about and there is a slight chance of showers in the east. That's all for weather tonight. Bruce, it's back to you. Much cooler. Thank you very much, Christina. And thanks for your company across central Victoria this Tuesday, February 23. That is how we saw your news. And a reminder, to help secure the future of local media, please visit this website, saveourvoices.com.au. See you tomorrow at 6. This has been a Win News presentation. Win News, regional Australia's number one news source.